189 world leaders. Eight goals for humanity. In 2000, the international community vowed to make the world a better place. To end extreme poverty. To end hunger. To end inequality. Under the Global Partnership for Development, we have made progress. Governments from the developed and developing worlds, supported by the UN system, by civil society and other partners, have taken action. We have begun to reduce the deadly impact of AIDS, malaria and other diseases. 30-year-old Anne Rose Toussaint is at a health center in Haiti that tests 150 patients for AIDS every day. My husband also did the test. Both tests were negative. We have advanced environmental sustainability by helping farmers build cisterns and dams to collect rainwater in places like Jordan's arid south, where every drop of water is precious. Building the cistern really has made a difference, and now the olive trees get enough water. I think it really has saved us. Climate change is making water increasingly scarce everywhere. But the target to cut in half, the number of people without safe drinking water, is within reach. And now more children are going to primary school than ever before, especially in countries where school fees have been abolished. Education is very important. And the reason is that through education, you can reach any goal you aim for. We are also improving maternal health. In Mongolia, Opsi Dago is about to give birth to her second child. I'm nine months pregnant. I'll give birth any time now. With more and more rural nurses to check up on her, the birth of her baby is no longer life-threatening. If we act and provide all women with access to health care, most maternal deaths could be prevented. In China, industrialization has lifted millions out of poverty. After working for others, Luo Chang'an and her husband saved enough money to start their own small company. In many places, we see more and more women in paid jobs, more girls in school, and more women in power. One day, hopefully become a you know, president of this country, yes! But more than halfway to the target date of 2015, we are not on track. The gaps are wide, the obstacles steep. Half a million women continue to die each year from complications of pregnancy and childbirth. 75 million children still do not attend primary school. I dropped out because I didn't have a school uniform. My mother wanted me to work to make some money so that hopefully one day we can afford the uniform again. If current trends continue, two and a half billion people will be without basic sanitation in 2015. 1.4 billion will live in extreme poverty. Rising food and energy prices and the global credit crisis may make things even worse. Citizens are demanding action. Last year, 43 million stood up against poverty, part of a growing global movement. World leaders made the promise. Now it's time for us to deliver.